Pardon. Where it is the fleet has you chasing ghosts on Suvor. Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Find anything else? Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. Let me know if you need anything else. stuff about the Mantis being back. If I ever find that bastard, the things I do to them. The fleet protects our own, but you turn against us, and you're dead. This place even smells like deceit. We should make our business quick. Every captain here's earned their stripes, bleeding for the fleet. Yeah? Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. I appreciate that. And look, if you ever need anything, an extra gun or whatever, I got your back. I think we will be quite capable of managing by ourselves, thank you. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. Lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Instead of trawling deep space for stick change, we got a much bigger target right here at home. A lot of jingle in those pockets. Of course you'll get a cut. 
That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Wokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. Yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Hit me up if you got questions. I hope Bug has something strong enough to knock me out. So there I am. You see security on my tail. Good many places I would rather be right now. Rook? It would seem that none of the wealth stolen. The fleet is family. Stealing from each other is just what you call...
Yes. What? Ahem. <clears throat> I cannot wait to see how the UC is throwing its weight around today. Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come. I saw one of the ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Patrol. Yo, back. So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a Gal Bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. And for some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. What is it? Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I bet operations on the key are a clown show. I'm looking forward to reading your report. Mm hmm? Yes? Is that it, then? Hello. Oh, 
Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Happy. Oh, I'm thrilled. Still, this leaves me with a lot of unknowns. And in our line of work, unknowns get you killed. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Have it your way. Apparently, uh, you have everything under control. So why are you targeting a gall bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. It would seem we have little choice in the matter. We should hear him out. No, no, no. Delgado isn't gonna drop a credit stick on the table and be done with it. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's a disturbing way to put it, but I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. 
Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh no. Is shooting everyone an option? Alternately shooting ourselves to avoid it? <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. All right, Speedy, take it easy. You're not gonna find that kind of junk aboard a Trident Starliner. Oh, there's one last thing. Trident equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, I know plenty. Been tracking that beauty for months. Neva and I were working out something. Hey, wait a minute. Don't tell me she's sending you after the award alone. And of course, Neva just happened to leave that out of her message about you, right? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. She told you to hold that over my head, did she? Oh, that witch. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. So tell me, what's the status of your plan? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. There's nothing quite like the view from the Starview Ballroom. It's right there. Captain Rokov is one of the most easygoing CEOs I've ever worked on.
please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Hello. Are you a member of the society? The society is such a worthy cause. What could be more important than the preservation of the Earth's spirit? This is going to be the ninth Earth Savior Award ceremony, but the first time it's ever been held aboard a Starliner. The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates are the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. That's all then? The okay. society chair has really outdone herself this time. An open bar would have been nice. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Here for business or pleasure? I certainly hope they so, decide to hold all future you aboard? society events aboard a I heard he uses Gal Bing's VIP suite on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man do any real work? That award is such a joke. It's for members of the society to pat their own backs for spending the most money on the cause. Not much, other than the fact that they host these wonderfully entertaining gala events every month. Hmm. Well, that was boring. Quite a lovely... Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. I heard it's fitted with 12 internally flawless two-carat blue diamonds. Can you believe that? You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute, though the minimum donation level is 5,000 credits. Nice to have met you. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. So, Hello. what brings you aboard? Are you a member of the Society? It's critical that the Society keeps the memories of Earth alive in our hearts. I'm doing my part by attending this spectacular event. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Enjoy the rest of the event. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people, if he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Don't forget to donate to the cause. You tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. Here for business or pleasure? That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. 
Nice to have met you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security of your items. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. An open bar would have been nice. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm sir. Enjoy the rest of the event. So, what brings you aboard? I've done this particular cruise run several times, and I can assure you that the route is quite safe. Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Well, the Earth Savior Award is one of a kind. The Blue Diamonds alone are irreplaceable. Since we can't produce a new award every year, it's instead passed from one recipient to the next. I supervise the transfer and make certain that there's ample security during transport and at the destination. In my cabin? Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Here for business or pleasure? Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee. That's all then? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm very busy right now. So please go away. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to my duties. If this is not the very definition of decadence, I do not know what is. Let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Excellent question. My responsibilities include all of the Siren's financial, customs, and commercial goods transfers. Honestly, I really enjoy the work. I get to meet people at every port of call instead of being constantly stuck below decks. Oh, absolutely. 
The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage-resistant vacuum-proof plating. In an unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. The safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event, this ship is destroyed. We can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make you stay more comfortable. Sorry, do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. My god, are you kidding me? <laughs> How did you... <sighs> that idiot. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No, he had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? You're not very bright, are you? I'm a grade C3 exec at Galbang. That means my credentials get me into two places, the front door and the ladies' room. If that's all you really want, you're certainly welcome to them. Are you kidding me? You need to think about it? For God's sakes, next time, maybe you should be a bit more prepared when you threaten someone. If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? If you had another way to get the information, you wouldn't be dealing. You'd be demanding.
Are you kidding? The fact that we're even speaking tells me I'm already dead in the water. I should make him pay for doing this to me. This is just gonna keep going until I give in, isn't it? I'd love to see that man suffer. That's true. For once, I would like to see him squirm. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. I do not understand. Your anger is focused on Mr. Dombrowski, but clearly the failure of this plan rests on you as well. If you had to work near him day in and day out, I think you can. He's a disgusting pig, plain and simple. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. What, are you writing a damn novel? Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any Galbank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Galbank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. What do you think is going on? I'm using that gullible idiot to get what I want. If I have to squash him on my way to the top, then so be it. Let's get one thing straight. Larry Dombrowski's no saint. He deserves everything that's coming to him. Yes, no judgment. But I am curious to hear a bit more. It doesn't matter if you're here to judge me or not, because there's nothing to judge. Dombrowski is a piece of human garbage. He'd stab you in the back for table scraps, then stab you again to steal dessert. The plan's always been to milk the guy for everything he's worth, and then leave him in the dust. Not bad for a lowly Galbank worker drone, right? I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the credits are clean. So on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered, when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? 
I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. Down, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. The society chair is really... Must you fired. continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Probably in a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? I hear you. I hope I can trust you. Yeah, I hope so. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. Please remember to obey all posted safety and mustering instructions. If the rest of this ship is any indication, I imagine there is an incredible amount of wealth. Stored in the right now. The society chair has really outdone herself this Hello. Time. You here for the charity event? Dombrowski, uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Claudia sent you, did she? 
Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. We both know exactly who you are. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. I know the guy, he doesn't bluff. But I'd bet my last cred stick he's running scared. There's clearly something going on between Vera Swiss and Dabrowski. But we need hard evidence to use it to our advantage. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls, and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Your lack of commitment does not exactly fill me with confidence. Are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sandin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. There's access to the crew section that you can reach through the uh, Starview Ballroom. Chief Sundin should be there, wasting time at his station as usual. Have fun with that guy, he's a, a real piece of work. Once you're past Sundin, just look for the room marked Environmental Control. Everything you need is inside. Go do something useful, okay? Pleased to make your acquaintance. An open bar would have been nice. But try to gouge it. You're a guest of Captain Rokov, right? Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings to have been posted to a ship like the Siren of the Stars. This is 
well maintained, to be sure, but obviously uh, the credits uh, uh, have uh, all been up. spent on the area this the guests of actually see. Wait a second, you're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong, the quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that, but I'd rather work on the bridge. Oh, uh, sorry, that area is off limits. No exceptions. Hey, if your heart's set on it, who am I to stop you from staring at a bunch of life support machinery? Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Feel free to look around, but don't mess with any of the controls. Much nicer in here now. Plenty of room. Sharp contrast from the crew quarters, is it not? I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. help you? Are you completely out of your mind? I help you by handing over evidence, and I end up incriminating myself. Why would I do that? I don't know where you got that information from, but it lines up with all the troubles I've been having getting my cut from that asshole. That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right. 
You have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction. This ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further well, instructions. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. You don't actually believe that I'd venture into such precarious criminal territory without a proper bird's eye view of the situation, do you? I'm uncertain why you've become entangled in this spider's web, but this situation demands swift and resolute action. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your captain in an orderly fashion. That certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my Galbank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Will there be much more of this? My head is starting to hurt. Quite a shame that you need to resort to blackmail to arrive at the point of equity in our discussion. However, I will acquiesce to your addendum. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. All passengers are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. Well, looks like everything worked out, just like we planned.
I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Rick's his legacy. Are you serious? I heard Delgado was spinning that yarn, but I thought it was more of a hobby with him. Have things really gotten that desperate? Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. I need to pack up and get out of here. What is it? All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship wide.
Hello. Welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. No, no, never, not at all. I I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, look, please don't. Don't mention this to my supervisor, okay? She'll give me a low rating, and I'm gonna end up scrubbing floors. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. I've got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day.
Next time you see Bog, tell him to lighten up. Guy's got a real ass. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Approaching that in. Well, in any ship would be suicide. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is given off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? I just said the place is EM class. But hey, if you want to commit suicide, please, go ahead and jump there. Don't let me stop you. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neighbor, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But... Before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Comm Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that Comm Spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. You're no damn picnic to work with either, so deal with it. Rook. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Hello.
fleet protects our own, but you turn against us, and you're dead. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or I'm not gonna be very disappointed. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet? We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come. You can be sure she'll keep on team. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? We told you we'd be keeping tabs on you. So, did you get information for us or not? Yes. And I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the Archives. We're taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. The Bannock system was a site of a significant battle during the Narian War. I had to do a research paper on the subject at the Academy. Sounds like you admire that lunatic. I 
I think his gospel's gone straight to your head. Maybe we made a mistake choosing you for this assignment. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. This mission is going to require discretion on a no- What can I do for you? Well done. Let's see what you found. Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Have any more? All right. Keep up the good work. They're pirates in every sense of the word, but they've managed to get more organized under their current leadership. That makes them especially dangerous, but hopefully it makes them a little more predictable too. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Early reports say your mission on the Siren was a success. I'm sure the commander is pleased.